Leo, my darling. Leo. <laughs> Hi, Leo. My name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Reading. Okay, so I just posted a Sagittarius video. It was pretty enlightening. I had a lot to say to Sag because I felt it needed to be said. Someone said, Hirsch, Leo. Someone, someone's grandma. So, um, you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. You know all the rest. So, we're going to get straight into it. I don't have any messages for you, Leo, except you're in a crunch period and you just save your coins. Save your coins for something momentum, momentumous or gigantic or whatever. So, whatever you got planned, bitch, work it. Save your money and it can go. Leo, I just feel like instead of leading, can you be the follower? I don't mean like follow a dumbass bitch, but I mean, can you like listen to people sit back, perceive things, kind of take it a step at a time, be like, hmm, instead of reacting, I'm going to get back to you on that. You know, just kind of relaxing and the focal point of just hearing what someone has to say, thinking about it, contemplating on it, relishing in what it, what it is or whatnot. It could be just like a simple thing of, would you like to have dinner? Hmm. Instead of me just always having a firm answer then and there, I'm going to think about what the fuck it is. Not on like stupid shit, but like something that is worth thinking about. Do I want to go to dinner with this fine ass man that got three kids and he sometimes pays child support? Hmm. I can think about that. <laughs> but no, for real, like some of y'all lower vibrational Leo, sure. Girl, mm -mm. I know you're worth this much. You are a grand lion. You don't need to be chasing behind anybody to brag with. That goes for Aries, too. I don't know why. I'm going to drop that in the Aries video, too. Because Aries, we got to have a talk, honey. But um, anyway, Leo, you can have Aries in your chart. I know I do. Mars. So, Leo, also loyalty, loyalty, loyalty is playing in my head. Someone is not loyal. Someone needs to learn some fucking loyalty. Someone has to know the, the fucking half of what being a loyal person is. Someone as is a snake. I see snakes slithering. I see three snakes. Could be have three people in your life that are fucking snakes. They don't mean you any good. They fucking phony, fake, prosthetic bitches. I don't know. Like, they phony. So, be careful. Um, prosthetic leg. <laughs> um, somebody said prosthetic leg. Like, somebody ass is just kicking your ass with a fake leg or something. That, that's not against anyone that has lost their limbs. This is more of a, a sense of someone is trying to pretend to be a real nigga and they're not a real nigga. And not in a sense of a fucking leg, in a sense of body parts. You try, like a bitch that try to pretend her ass is real and her ass has been done. Like, stop fucking lying about your appearances. Own that shit. If you got plastic surgery, bitch, tell them motherfuckers, these titties are fake. Well, these are real, but these titties are fake. And be like, so? And you like looking at them. Why you looking at them? You looked at them too hard to know what the fuck they is or ain't. Okay, so that's Leo. I just think that listen more. Somebody said shut the fuck up. <laughs> they said shut the fuck up, Leo. <laughs> shut the fuck up. This could be you saying to me, I don't give a fuck. Yo, I'm Sagittarius. You can feel free to leave a comment below and I will go there with you if I don't block you first. Leo Moon. <laughs> but yeah, I just hear shut the fuck up. Everything don't need to be talked about. Stop gossiping. Keep a low profile and save your money. Sounds short sure to me. Let's go into the reading. Alright. Leo, Leo, Leo. Sorry, I got this new deck. It's called Island Wellness. So, this is, um, I got it from Amazon. It's pretty dope. I like it. We're going to use it in the beginning of a reading to talk about the focal point for Leo for the month of February. Time is a virtue. Someone said get that car fixed. Self-indulgence and lightning. Okay, so something changed. Something shocking, surprising, or a transformation. Time to focus on yourself. Time to heal, shadow work, and appreciation. Okay, so you're. I know that you guys, Leo, being self-indulgent for a Leo is like, waking up and taking a shower like well for some of you guys that that's second nature too or waking up and being like a breath for you dirty motherfuckers but no, i never known a dirty leo but um maybe there is maybe the men maybe i don't know i never seen a woman in dirty leo but okay so um lightning there's some type of surprise change something is coming something shocking you may actually get some type of news that it just takes you off your feet you're like 
notice the gas but I said earlier uh, before I even looked at the card the self indulgence you're supposed to be whatever this is gonna make you focus on yourself and appreciate appreciate yourself more um, the Phoenix you could be going into a new phase if you change your mind about some things people or places someone told me to draw two more anything else for Leo for February like a five 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 one this one is the snake see Bitch, I just fucking said I saw three snakes. Someone's dealing with a snake, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. All right, this one came out more. The sword and the rose, the truth. You're going to get the truth about some type of snake person. And, okay, so the bot, the rest of y'all, this kind of came up last minute. It's seven. So it could be like five plus seven. Five plus two is seven. I get the five of swords. So seven of swords. Someone could be having a secret engagement. Someone could be meeting up and having, like, some type of secret commitment or a secret communion. Someone could be getting married in secret. Or they're enjoying a moment of a relationship. Someone could be engaging in something serious. The bottom of the deck is girl talk. Yeah, someone is gossiping about this new relationship they in. They're like, girl, let me tell you. Okay, so I didn't got married in secret. What? You ain't tell me? Girl. Girl. I'm trying to tell you to see. So I didn't got married. I didn't got this new boo girl. I'm moving on. I'm having fun. I can't believe this shit. Like, I'm in paradise. Maybe I went on fucking vacation, bitch. You know, I ended a relationship. It was over. Some man seduced the shit out of me. We just talking, though. You know, we just having fun. He may kiss my hand a little bit. He got some munties. Ooh, he got some munties, bitch. Some of y'all. Some of y'all don't say that. I'm going to leave abundance at the bottom of the deck because that's what I like to say. <laughs> okay, so someone's having a conversation like, girl, mm, mm, mm. I just went on this date with this man and he had a whole bunch of money. And I, it wasn't about the money though, but he is so fine, girl. Oh, we had a talk and I felt so good, like. I feel blessed. Like, oh my God. I keep getting this Aquarian energy. Who is that? Yo, yo, Leo, go check out Sagittarius reading. It's an Aquarius somewhere, like, lurking. I keep hearing it. You could be an Aquarius, like, spying, like, looking around on YouTube for reading, spying on someone, like, energetically. It's so funny. I keep hearing Aquarius and Leo. Uh, okay. Someone could be having a conversation about a friendship and someone is happy. Like, they broke up with someone and they got... Yo, watch that Sagittarius video for real. Now, you got a snake. I don't know who this person is, the other woman. You you could have been... You could be talking to someone that is married or has a girlfriend or they just left the relationship. And they're trying to go into a new phase. So, you're getting truth or you're being talked about or talking to this person about it. I want to get some throw cards on the snake. What, who is the snake? What is the snake in Leo's reading? Ooh, damn, my fuckers was like. <laughs> okay. Five of swords. Someone did something very fucked up. So, someone could be trying to put distance between drama. Two of wands could be someone that gives you advice they mean well, but it's not really good advice. You should take it. But to be honest, you know. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, the four of wands, that someone is not happy about this relationship or someone doesn't like it, it's a damper, maybe someone's truth, this, or someone being an asshole kind of turns you off from the relationship, maybe you had time to think. You, this person could live in a distance, it could be an Aries, but, um, you need time before you can really commit to that or validate that. Um, maybe this person's in the public eye. Um, maybe you're waiting to see what someone does first, but... This could be about a relationship with someone in the public eye, something with a Leo, another Leo, or a Pisces, could be a Scorpio, a Libra, or someone that wants to come together with you. Now, this King of Cups is a drunk. That's my drunk card. Somebody is drunk, or they're very toxic, or controlling, emotionally manipulative. Let's see what the fuck is this. What is the motherfucking King of Cups reverse? Hell no, nah, you look at like, mm, I don't think so. Someone says these two. I don't know what's so important. Two, see, two of cups reversed. Some type of relationship. It's, it's a secret affair. Um, you're stuck in some secret relationship, maybe. 
Maybe you don't want to be stuck in something secret. Maybe it's a business relationship. Maybe you have a secret business relationship. You don't want to be stuck in it. Some of you guys are like, I don't want to do that. So some of you guys could be stuck in some type of secret business relationship in which you're doing something very fucked up. You're like, no, I don't want to do that. All right, let's see. Okay, so we know who the snake is. Snake has to do with some waiting to see if you... It seems like someone is given an opportunity to be a snake or someone is like... They don't know if they want to be the other woman or something. Someone is just like, they're thinking about that. They're like, mm, no. Leo, I know Leo ass thing stupid. Sudden change. What is sudden change for Leo? Okay, so... Nine of Swords is about, or Nine of Wands, I'm rather. Someone is protective over a decision that they, they can't fucking think if, what they want to do. There's so much confusion. It could be Moon and Libra. Some about um, an argument with money or an ex or an old baggage with an ex. Or you could be protective over a bad decision. Maybe you don't want to make a decision. I want It could be a fight over inheritance or money. Maybe you just came into some money. A decision must be made to be doing with Pisces, Neptune energy. What the fuck is the um, Ten of Pentacles? What the fuck is that? <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles? See, yeah, you don't trust something. Something is like, mm, Three of Wands. You think it's a, a some type of fluke or missed opportunity? You, you could be feeling some type of way about it. The Three of Wands is like something in haste. You don't want to... Yeah, this could be about an affair... Someone is contemplating on having an affair, a knight of swords and a lover. Someone wants to someone wants to be with who they want to be with. There a lot of false starts with the ace of wands. I don't think this will go anywhere. I don't think you should do this. I don't whoever's trying to do this to you, they're just taking advantage of you. They want what they want. They don't really want to give you anything. Mm, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Some of you guys could be getting a package that the FedEx truck just went by. So the message is delivered, honey. All right, let's look at the self-indulgence card for Leo. I want to know what that's about. Self-indulgence for Leo. Um, the King of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Yo, somebody ass is really into spending all their money. They spend money on themselves every day. They probably look in the mirror two times a day, three times a day. Um, the King of Pentacles is also a person who can buy anybody they want to with any type of money, and they're they're very low ridden. Someone is very self indulgent. They only care about themselves. They they spend a lot of money on them. They're very like, you know, like their nails are always done. These ain't my motherfucking nails, but in the mind, their nails are always done. I need my I just ask my nail tech to do a full set, but but anyways, um, that's the Leo and me. But the King of Pentacles is a person who's broke. They take it, you taking care of this motherfucker, or they, they give you a lot of money, but they're not really exciting. But they're always into themselves, or they they care about me, 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 me. Three of Pentacles. Um, you could be competing against this motherfucker, like for a job or something, or someone. You could be competing with your man, or this person is competing with you. Um, someone asks. Mm -mm. Someone needs to focus on themselves and like, oh shit, my jacket ripped. <gasps> oh my god, I just noticed it. I'm so sad. Something could be falling apart. The seam. That's okay. I bought this jacket for like twenty dollars. I'm trying to buy another one today. But I'm so sad about that. They can't do my reading off. But anyways, some of y'all. Some of y'all could be going through a competition with some individual. The, the Three of Pentacles reverse is, like, feeling like you got to compete or something is, like, a missed opportunity. Maybe someone feels like they have to go piggyback off your shit because they can get their own shit. Somebody needs to focus on themselves. They have to focus on you. You could be dealing with a sad. See, I told y'all watch that Sagittarius reading, the Temperance Queen of Wands. You could be really, light, light, nice and passive, sweet, and, like, this person taking advantage of you. The temperance card could be cutting words, arguments, drama. Maybe you're waiting for situations to kind of, like, smooth itself out. Um, this could be an Aries, Taurus. Could be Libra or Scorpio reverse. The Queen of Wands is usually Leo or Aries. Could be dealing with a Libra. Um, 
or in Aquarius, but there is some type of temperance Sagittarius here too. It could be Sagittarius or Gemini, but there's some type of energy here where like somebody is like really self indulgent. Like this King of Pentacles is all into himself and he competes with people. And like this Sagittarius person, it could be a business owner. And this Sagittarius person like drinks a lot, parties a lot, or they're in balance. Or this Queen of Wands is like she has a mom that's overbearing. Somebody is like really into themselves. This is kind of sick. But yeah, this could be your family member Queen of Wands. Okay. What is the Phoenix for Leo? Yeah, their mom could have a Sagittarius moon or a legend. That's what I was told, baby. Um, Ace of Swords can be about um, being trapped. Maybe you were trapped in some type of... Maybe you were in jail. Maybe you were trapped and you felt you were not going to get out. You were trapped in some job, maybe. Or some type of relationship that wasn't going anywhere. Or bad sex. King of Pentacles. And the Lovers. Um... Could be maybe you're maybe somebody's trying to trap you. It's like somebody's trying to trap you. Someone is definitely trying to slow you down. What is the king? What is the eight of pentacles? Like someone's trying to slow I guess someone's trying to slow you down. I I just keep seeing like um like smoke from someone running, so they're not gonna be trying to die down. The Empress. Yes, yeah, someone wants to slow down someone's business or track someone's business. If someone doesn't want someone to work anymore, or they want them to stay home, what's the Eight of Swords? Could be having a Jupiter or a Gemini. Or you similar to Gemini with the Lover Star here. See, if someone doesn't want someone to return back to their intuitive side, they want them to heal and be like this princess. A dreamer. Yeah, if someone wants someone to, to dream some other shit up. Like, don't do that job. You could be a, a psychic or like some type of Mother Teresa or a nurse and your husband's like, no, you can't do that anymore. You gotta do this. I'm like, fuck you, nigga. I'm doing what the fuck I want to do. Suck my dick, too, while you at it. <laughs> you know? You could be um, investing in something. Maybe it doesn't make a lot of money. Um, and, again, this can also be if you want to start a business, you're going to have to have your own money to save it. I told you in the beginning of the reading. Maybe you feel like that's not what you want to do. Maybe you don't want a new beginning. Maybe you're like, yeah, not, my, not for me. Be rejected. I'm not interested in that type of a situation. Queen of Pentacles can make anything turn to gold. Maybe she don't fucking want to do that. So you could be having some dude tell you what to do. You like, get out of here. I am a Leo. I keep hearing Sagittarius too. So you have a Sagittarius moon, or you have Leo moon, or Sagittarius, or some other shit. Um, the Sword in the Rose for my Leo, beautiful, lovely friend. King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign or a business person. They got the money, though, but they don't trust you. They feel like they have a lot of concerns or anxieties. They want you to leave this Capricorn, or they have, they, they have, they want to release themselves from a witch, maybe, or I'm going to look at the devil. What is the devil's about to release? What is the devil? That son wants to release from something. I'm not going to take that because it didn't have any energy. What's the devil? Okay, that doesn't go. Um, the queen of pentacles. So someone could feel like um, you're trapped in some type of job, maybe. Maybe somebody wants you to leave something. Yeah, judgment. Someone is very judgmental about you and what you do for a living. Maybe it's for some people. Ten of Wands, other, I think the, a nurse, maybe, or a psychic or something, um, or a job that, maybe, you see this girl who's stripping, could be a stripper or a dancer, maybe, someone is just like, something lower vibrational, someone could be stripping, I, I get dancer, maybe, someone wants to, someone to stop doing something so they can give them something, but it's just like, you see this Queen of Cups? She doesn't look very sure. She's like, ah, I don't know about that. The, someone has a business. The hangman is about materialism. Someone is very indulgent in their own mind. Like they like money or 
The hangman can also be about someone in these time and spiritual development. The judgment is about bad decisions or criticalness. Maybe someone is spiritually critical. Maybe they talk shit about people, but they need to spend time and spiritual about themselves. And as a reader, like, people could assume that this is a reader or a nurse. It's like the nurse that smokes cigarettes. You're smoking, and they're like, oh, aren't you a nurse? Like, bitch, I know what the fuck my health is. I didn't tell you to do what the fuck I do. I said do this. You came to me to get help, get wealthy, and, and get get better. You didn't come to me to talk about what the fuck I'm doing. Do you want to get healed or not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, someone is definitely in that energy. Like, someone is coming to the nurse like, are you smoking? Yeah. Bitch, don't worry about me. Worry about you. The fuck? I told you what the fuck my problem was. Your point is that you don't want to be like me. How about that? I get that. Someone wants someone to leave. So, let me get some more cards on the hangman. The fuck? What's the hangman in the judgment card? That is crazy. Oh, shit. I dropped all the bad fucking cards. I dropped all the fucking cards, yo. And someone could be feeling like everything's just spilling over. Could be a lot. Hold on. Okay. All right. What is the hangman in the judgment card? Someone could just be showing all their cards. Like, fuck it. The strength card. Someone feels like someone is sick or losing health. Someone feels like someone is ignorant or petulant. They listen to their own selves. This could be another Leo or a Virgo. Someone feels like that's a bad idea to throw into destruction. Someone, yeah, this is what I want to be an argument. Someone feels confused or zapped. Someone could be worried about someone's children. Someone wants someone to leave. That will get reversed twice. Okay, so, the side of pencil. Someone feels like somebody's money sucks. This could be about a child or someone feels like it's not going to lead anywhere. Someone has got some issues about someone else's lifestyle, and they're not paying any of anyone. Let me go ask that question before I make that assumption. I just get the energy of, if you're not telling someone how to pay their bills and making a deposit into their account, you should not be telling someone what you don't like about their life. If you're not going to take care of them and not fuck them, because I know men be like, oh, okay, I'll pay your bills. Can I get some pussy? No. You want to talk shit about the way I live my life, pay my bills. Then I'll do whatever you ask me to. Because guess what? I ain't got to worry about shit because you're taking care of it. Mm. That's how I feel. That's the truth right there. <laughs> I think not. All right. This person got any money to talk about uh, Leo's responsibilities? Ace of Wands. They got an opportunity for you. The King of Cups. Could be about a water sign. The opp opportunity is five of swords, though. It ain't gonna make no money. Whatever it is, whoever this, whoever's telling you what to do, they want to give you an opportunity, but it's bullshit. Like the five of swords is like, it's 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 gonna be for me though. It's gonna be good for me. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want the opportunity. Fuck your opportunity, bruh. So somebody ass is playing a game. Hell no. Nah. Somebody wants to rob somebody or uh uh. What's the four of pentacles in first? Well, somebody, somebody wants to help you, all right. The Six of Swords could be moving on from something. You could be walking away. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, some fire sign is like, could be Yuli. You like, what's out of here? To move, maybe? What's the Six of Swords and the Queen of Wands? You can move your mom in. The Seven of Cups. Somebody wants to tempt you to move. To some unknown location, the moon. Fuck out of here. Said, they want you to sneak away. The Page of Cups could be about insecurities or someone wants to control you like a baby uh-uh hell no nah. fuck out of here this my out <laughs> so leo you make up your own mind i'm gonna end this on a oracle note because this shit is crazy as hell fuck out of here all right what is the messages for my here and scorpio too scorpio could be a part of this what is the message for leo Okay. Um, start reclaiming who you truly are. So yeah, don't don't let no motherfucker tell you what to do. Fuck out of here. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Do not let anything disturb your peace. Because someone truly is trying to disturb your fucking peace. Um, everything you ever wanted is on the opposite side of fear. Hmm. 
and love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Absolutely. So no micromanaging asshole can tell you something. And where does the power come from? It comes from within. Hell yeah, everybody gonna say it and control you and say what the fuck and do. Fuck out of here. In the end, you tried. Yeah, you did try, Leo. And this is the last one. You want a person who's gonna come into your life by accident and stays on purpose. Yeah, you don't want someone to control and manipulate you. Like, that's gonna have a hot, end, a hot beginning and a cold end. Absolutely not. Like... I want to know what the uh, everything that you wanted is on the opposite side of here. I don't know what that is. What is that for Leo? Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, some type of party or indulgence. Maybe um, maybe someone's afraid of growing up and their family can't catch on. Well, if that's the case, then or they, they feel like they're gonna have fun and everybody can't keep keep up. There's a new beginning, and there's some type of money. Or maybe someone's afraid of being single. 